uh, we're still grinding and once again we are heads up in the 5k bounty high roller maybe back to back let's see so you got a bunch of tables it's midnight and we keep going i think i'm gonna bluff this river as well he's gonna have a lot of king three queen three so definitely gonna keep bluffing here and we have a lot of like six three off five deuce um seven six gets there and yeah we definitely don't want to show it on here with 10 high Alright, we 3 bet. Definitely a board where we're gonna bet the flop and we're gonna jam the turn. I mean, it's very unlikely that someone has Yeah, I'm just gonna jam this. They can set up ace checks. Check is fine as well. But it's very unlikely that someone has a flush. I think also ace eight, ace five here. I mean, I don't know, like it's more likely. Wow, he has the nut flush. Did not expect that, but we had a lot of outs to making a better flush full house, even though it was heavily blocked. Out of the stream and we're already firing lots of tables. It's gonna be epic tonight. I'm gonna defend the title here in the 5k. Anyway, I'm gonna defend this and we're gonna be check jamming this. He's gonna bet call a lot of ace queens, ace kings on this board. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the snap call is not good. That could still be yeah. no bueno. Oh, but the 10 helps. Run good. So as you can see, bunch of tables already in the mix here. This is gonna be, it's gonna be huge. Chat is also already hyped. Let's fucking go. Ah, uh, pretty bad turn. I'm mean, gonna call, we have some outs for making a full house. Some decent implied odds. That's the, is this the team pro run good that everyone is talking about? He had queen 10. Oh, he made the flash. He made the flash on the flop. Oh, let's go. The quadrants. The quadrants. Induced! Inducey Musi! Let's go! Ah, you love to see those 
When you bet with jacks on the river and you face a jam, mm, isn't that the most beautiful feeling, chat? Isn't that the most satisfying feeling? We're still grinding and we're currently at 22 tables. I'm gonna use time make for all of my hands because most of the time I'm gonna have a tough decision, right? So you should also do that with aces. I mean, sick. That's pretty sick. No, just unlucky. Just unlucky. First bullet. I'm gonna call this. People are not squeezing a lot. You get get away with these kind of flats more often. Three months, holy! And flash draw, schon da! It's just a weak flash draw, so we just check it back. Low stakes, you have a hand, you pot. You need two sizings on low stakes. Pot and small. Clean andrücken mit bluff, big mit value. So I'm translating this also into English. Ah, you see, getting punished for flatting this crap. Uh, you bluff small, and you value bet big, but I'm not gonna fold a flush here, of course. <clears throat> Just have seen too much crap. If he has a better flush, he has a better flush. I also see overplays from sets and kind of stuff. Yeah, Unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. I mean, we're gonna call an all-in against him. Um, cool. If we have forward equity against him, I just, I think he never has a nut flush draw because he would very often jam it. So it's either a weaker draw, maybe ace king hearts, something like ace four, ace five hearts, maybe weak eight, or a weaker flush draw. I think with all the dead money, two over cards, we dominate a lot of his draws. I'm just gonna get it in. Yeah, that's a perfect outcome. exactly what we were looking for and we're currently stuck with um, 60k in buy-ins but we keep grinding <laughs> oh fuck here we go yeah he has 12 big blinds he opens I call GG Marius um, and I lead the flop which is a pretty good flop from my range and we heads up uh, we're still grinding and once again we're heads up in the 5k bounty high roller Maybe back to back. Let's see. So you got a bunch of tables. It's midnight and we keep going I think I'm going to bluff this river as well um, because he's going to have a lot of king three, queen three. So definitely going to keep bluffing here. And we have a lot of like six, three off, five deuce, um, seven, six gets there. And yeah, we definitely don't want to show it on here with 10 high. But it seems like he has a calling hand. Six deuce off. Well, 
we went into the top part of his range. That sometimes sometimes happens. Um, would start checking something like Ace Ten, but like Ace King benefits of you know making full something like Jack Ten, Ten Nine type of hands without backdoor flush draw. Flopping two pair. Uh, okay, let's stay with this hand first. I'm gonna float with two over cards, even though it might be close. a bunch of bluffs possible. Gonna bet the turn and jam the river. <clears throat> and if he jams, we stack off. Let's hope he doesn't have the straight. Otherwise, it would be pretty unlucky. Sweet pot. Yeah, we made it to day two and the. 109 phase one, which I usually need like 20 bullets to get there. So, <laughs> feels good. Gonna bet the turn. We have a very weak draw. We can get him to fold better flush draws on the river. I think it's also one of the hands that we, yeah, we want to bluff on the river. Like us, also a lot of queen high bluffs are getting there. Jack 10 gets there. We only really have 10 9 and 7. Like, I'm 10 9, I might be checking back on the flop as well. So, I'm gonna jam this. Uh, he probably revert something. Yeah, yeah, I had this feeling either revert the two pair or he always folds. That's just so unlucky. I think he always folds there. Uh, it's close, but since he also has limbs, should be a fold. I think I think we would have collected the folds most of the time there. I mean, it's just one of the nuttiest hands you can bluff with on the river, I think. Rivers are killing me a little bit today here. Yeah, I mean, I think you just bet call this. Can have some flush draws. Straight draw. Let's go. Let's hold. back in the game hey guys we're running the biggest sale with up to 400 dollars off on our tournament related content the turn masterclass expert and apprentice as well as paired and our bounty course are currently off i think for in total three weeks w coop sale so up until the end of the series so make sure to check it out you want to find everything in the description and now let's continue with the video I'm gonna raise call this 
Uh, don't mind if he calls this in position. Kind of want to induce a gem from him. Ah, uh, uh, we need a lot of help. The ten and the ten only. Uh, GG. Yeah, I think that was just a really rough heads up. So 73k, we take it. Good luck to Dario, who cashed for. Hundred sixty k, we cashed for seventy k. So I mean, we collected already so many bounties on the final table. I think we would have cashed for more than two hundred k, right? We just cashed here for seventy three k, and the heads up was not meant to be, and we cashed fourteen k somewhere else. So, all right, all in in the Sunday Storm chat. It's time. Let's go, flip. There we go. Win the flip. And we're in the sunny storm again, chat. Let's go. Ten ace clubs. Let the dream not be over. Ah! Oh, this hurts. Pocket eights. Yeah, it's gonna be easy stack off against all of these stacks unless he drams he calls then i think we have to fold or he raises he drams i hope he folds if he calls it gets really nasty but i think he's gonna be calling five sixes and better all right good luck us if you lose it it's not the end of the world Let's check off. All right, that's a safe turn. GG. First stream today as a PokerStars ambassador, but first things first, we're gonna go for a 10 kilometer run. I'm dead. Crush my five kilometer record and then even decent time for the 10k for the 10 kilometers. I'm really ready for tonight. You know what time it is. Every Sunday, never miss your ice bath. Let's go. And while the water is filling, I do my meditation and my breathing. I started breathing exercises regularly every day. I'm working with Lucas Mack. He is insane. We have private sessions and the breath work really helps me to dive deep into another level of consciousness and just get clearance on what I'm trying to achieve that day, um, what I wanna focus on my session, also overall in life. And just this pure silence and reaching that deep level of consciousness really helps me to find out where I wanna go, what I want in life and what is holding me back. And all these questions are so crucial to important. And, you know, you hear it on social media, don't or cut out the distractions and enter the silence and listen to your body. But you, of course, you need to do something, right? So this is my way of finding the silence and finding out where I want to go in life. Uh, this breath work and meditation. And if you try it out, you, you realize it can be really, really scary because you start connecting with your body on a level you have never experienced before. I want to show you guys my pre-grind meal. Almond milk, some dates, some almond butter, vegan chocolate protein powder. And depending on how you want to have your consistency, you want to have it a bit thinner, add a bit more milk and some oats. Spoon of almond butter and a big spoon of protein. We go. So we got a delicious protein shake. Let's go. Oh, let's crush. Mm. I love it. So, just finished doing the dishes. I talked earlier about the fact that these small victories really help you when you had a bad session. I don't want to finish my session having lost a lot of money, rent terrible, come downstairs and then look at all the dirty dishes. So I can at least say, hey, you know, I went for a run, I cleaned up the kitchen, I can go to bed and start the day fresh. These small things can really matter, especially when things are not going so well. 
So try to prepare yourself for in case you have a bad session that you have these small victories before your session and then things gonna be so much easier, much more calm and you're not gonna have such a terrible feeling about having a bad session or having had a bad session. How do I use your charts? I noticed that you're only opening 2x with 40 bit blinds. Your charts say to open 2.3x. It really doesn't matter. Everything between 2x and 3x, no point in asking. It's whatever. Sometimes I open 2.2x, sometimes I open 2.1x. I make it depending on the color of my underwear, depending whether it's rainy or whether it's sunny. Th these are not the spots you should focus on. All right, I'm going to race calling the 10k here. Fortunate. <clears throat> 10 for a split. Green card is good. Let's go. And we're going on in here with the queens. I don't mind the call, of course. There's going to be a lot of dominated hands that are going to be calling us. Sick would be if he jams his tens and he folds and we have the chance to triple up. I mean, it seems like he's calling. What the fuck? That's weird. I don't think you want to be calling out of position there. Can please, can he bet? Oh, that's great. Probably he's on ace queen or something. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. That's in terms of DV, no matter what the river is, that's the dream scenario. <laughs> we trip it up. Wow. Sick, sick, sick. I might punt it off here in the one. Okay, I mean, if this hearts break, I'm going to bury this combo. Oh, that's great. Just going to jam the river. We block some 6-8 suited combos or 10-8 suited combos, which you can check back on the flop. <sighs> Our 10-8s, Jack 10s getting there. I think if he has a 7, 7, 8, 6s, something like 9-8 suited, King 9, I think we need to jab in order to get the maximum amount of fold equity. All right. I'm gonna defend the 10 and clubs here. Ooh -ha. Let's run it. Oxlet. Wow, what a punt. What a punt. Uh, I mean, it's good. You got, you got to lose these hands sometimes. Maybe he puts me on a flush draw, but yeah, I will have some king eye flush draws and the eight nines and jack nines, but like you're flipping against those, right? You're just hoping for a flip and then Against those hands, you are not running so well, but it's okay. Sometimes we need that. Um, maybe just uh, just three bet. It's also a good spot to bluff, I think, against him. He seems to open a lot. He's chip leader. Don't need to use a big sizing. And we might bubble the or bust the 1k. I'm definitely gonna be calling down here against him. He can have loads of bluffs. Oops, I misclick checked actually. Yeah, I'm gonna call this down. We have a decent blocker, we block some lower flushes. 
GG Let me go for Actually all hand doesn't need so much protection <clears throat> Everything gets there. Ten nine, Jack ten. Ugh, come on. SPR poker, thank you so much for the rate. Appreciate it. Ah, yeah, I deserve this one. Yeah, this could have been a really big day today. Like the 5k close to the money. The 1k 6 max close to the money. This 1k is close to the money. The 500 we already in the money. But just sometimes how it is. And that's also why I like to play a lot of tournaments, because I can really get on a lot of volume and can grind out these down shorter downswings over just a few tournaments, right? Now imagine if you play five tournaments a day, you can see this can happen over 20, 30, 40, 50 tournaments. Even, even, even I sometimes have two or three bad sessions. And then we speak about like 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 tournaments. And if you grind like 10 tournaments a week, this can go forever, or at least for a very long time. So we're down to four tables. So far, solid day, 81,000 buy-ins, around 90K in caches, but we're still in the 10K, 1K and 10K. So still some decent scores possible. This might be a big punt, but I know David also opens a lot, so I'm just gonna jam this. Oha. Sick call. All right, GG. Soft bubbled. I mean, does he think I'm re jamming any pair there? I wouldn't re jam sevens there, to be honest, but. I think king queens here is just so much stronger. You really want to block the east kings, the kings, the queens. Oh Let's go! <laughs> this this uh, fits really well with uh, fishy, but I think he's goofing around anyway. Yeah, it probably has an eight. Oh, so many emotes in the bin. <laughs> Go on, raise it. Raise, my friend. You can do it. You can raise your 9 8. You know, you don't have shot of value. Ah, uh, what does he have? Ace 8. Yeah, I knew it. He was contemplating to raise, but he couldn't fall. Like, if I bet bigger, he falls.
Oh -ha! Let's go! Yeah, 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 seven, nine. Wait, what? Oh my God. I was like, why do I have $8? What the fuck? I was I, I thought he's drawing dead on the turn. I didn't even see that he has a gut shot. Oh my god, this guy. Nothing happening on the 10k. We're still we're 15 left in third position. It's being played down to the final table today. Alright, see you today's two and big blinds deep. We're gonna call this in position. Should we, should we run a 170 big blind bluff on the river? Chat, should we do it? I mean, we have the ace tens, we have like king jacks, jacks, king queens. I would also check back some draws. You do, I'm doing it with ace six and spades. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna jam this. Let's go. No! <laughs> ah, well played, nice hand, my friend. Formatting sevens, like what's what's going on with people? They're so crazy. Uh, 170 big blinds down the toilet. Yeah, Ben CV can't beat NL10 confirmed. That was it was a nice check by him on the river. Uh, tense call call and jam against these decks. Pretty much straightforward. <clears throat> Even if T jams now with 30 bigs, we have an easy call. Good turn. We're definitely gonna be playing for stacks here. I mean, he has some 6 4, yeah, but. Uh, this river is interesting. Can we fold? We're pretty bad. Blocker. Some weak jack 10 diamonds, 10 8 diamonds. Yeah, this is a terrible blocker. Like, he has 5 4, 3 4, 9 4, like 5 6. I'm just gonna forward this. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean we could we could jam the turn but I think it's just like it's pretty straightforward how we can play the river. 
And we also force them to continue with like a lot of like king fives and shit that have very little equity. We made it. Oh, we're actually ninth position, aber, aber, but you see, like, one double up and we're top 10, right? I am, I'm not top 10, I mean top 5, so it's not that you have, like, one 5 million chip leader runaway, it's, everything is pretty close, so even with our 900k, it sounds like we're the shortest stack, but, like, everything is in striking distance here. I think we're up around 50k, 140k in caches, 80, 90k in buy-ins, so definitely good one. And we try to keep laddering on Tuesday with the day two of the 10k final table, looking forward to that.